Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Hi, coach. Good evening. Okay, hello, Narita. How are you? Flor. Everybody's coming in. Okay. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Come in, come in. Yo lo saludé, pero creo que no escuchó, así es que... Oh, no, no, Reinita, le dije, usted no me escuchó a mí, Reinita, eso fue la, prim <laughs> fue la primera que vi. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, yes, I did. Ah, pues no nos escuchamos, va. Okay, so we have... Jocelyn... Okay, so we have 20 people come in and Okay, we're going to do the numbers. For the phone numbers, right? We're gonna practice with the phone numbers today. So we have the first one. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask for and give phone numbers. Let's get started by going over the numbers from one through 10. Let's listen and repeat. Zero. Oh. One. Two. No sé nada, ¿no? Ok, let me see. No, sí, no. sí, está raro, todo negro. No, no. Yo vi la en la plataforma, así sale igual. Así negro, solo se ve el sonido. Sí, lo acabo de ver. Aquí está. Ten. Now let's try to practice by reading out the numbers that you see on the screen. What you what you didn't see is this one that says zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yes, zero. Okay, you can say zero or o. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Remember that the zero is for formal numbers. O, you can use it in informal, okay? Informal numbers, you can use O. Anna Silva. Anna Silva's work phone number 
is 201-555-2491. And a syllabus. Home phone number is nine one four five 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 two seven one four. Anna Silva's cell phone number is eight four five 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 one oh two three and you get the idea James Lang phone number James Lang work phone number is eight hundred five 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 eight eight nine three James Lang home phone number is six oh four five 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 two seven one four James Lang's cell phone number is two five O five 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 one O two three now what I would like for you to do is to give some examples of your own for example my work phone number is seven one three six nine five three five three nine my cell phone number is my wife's cell phone number is you should give at least 10 examples and share them in our discussion forums okay then It's another exercise with um, listening numbers. And this one. Listen and okay, yes, these are the numbers. Okay, in this one, you have to listen to to the phone numbers of these uh, five, six people. For example, Davy Medina's phone number, Sarah Connor's phone number, Stephen Carson's, Nicole Johnson's, Jennifer Miller's, Michael Otis' phone number. Eh, ¿Los tiene alguien? Levante la mano si tiene el ¿Quién tiene el número uno? Who has number one? Okay, Harrison. Tell me the first number. Then Janet me va a decir el número dos, right? Okay, Harrison, number one. Ahorita mismo. Good. El de David Medina, ¿verdad? Yes, sir. Two, one, two, five, five, five. One, nine, three, seven. Three, seven. That's correct. Okay, good. Eh, Elizabeth, ¿quién es que me tenía el segundo número dos? Yo, Janet. Oh. Three, four, seven, uh -huh. five, 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 seven, six, four, five. Four, five. Okay. Elderly number three. Ahorita. Uh, two, oh, one, five, 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 three, six, four, eight. Okay. Nicole Johnson, phone number. Nicole Johnson. Who has that one? Who, who, who has it? 
¿Quién lo tiene? ¿Anybody? Yo lo tengo también de Nicole Johnson. Ok, go ahead, Janet. C4, C555, 3H06. 06, good. Ok, Carlos William, number five. Eh, creo que se repite. Es 645 six, Correct. Se repite. Así es. Correcto. Right. Good. And number six. I have number six. Okay. Go ahead with the number six, please. Uh, seven, one, eight, five, 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 nine, nine. Six o. Six o. There you go. Yes, that's correct. Okay, now listen again. And complete the list. And complete the list. What's David Medina's phone number, Michael? It's two one two five 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 one nine three seven. Two one two five 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 one nine three seven. Yes, that's it. Okay, Sarah Connor. What's her phone number? Hmm, Sarah. Her number is three four seven five 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 seven six four five. Three four seven five five five. Seven six four five. That's right. Now let's see. Stephen Carson. His phone number is two o one five 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 three six four eight. Right? Yes, that's right. Two o one five 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 three six four eight. And Nicole Johnson's number? Oh, Nicole is my roommate. Our number is 646-555-3806. So Nicole's phone number is 646-555-3806. And your number is 646-555-3806. It's the same number. Right. Hey, what's your phone number, Michael? It's 718-555-9960. Okay, great. Okay. So we can see that the numbers are Okay, they are correct. Okay, uh, questions about the numbers? No, it's okay. It's okay, good. Then we're going to move to the number two. In the unit two, eh, en esta unidad vamos a ver vocabulario de objetos pequeños que se pueden portar en una mochila o en un bolso. O, vamos a ver lo, this and these, esto y estos. Y preposiciones de lugar, ok? Where, on, under. Y, Teacher. Yes. Una pregunta. Diga. Este, no pude llenar todos los ejercicios de la segunda uh -huh. sección. Este, tendría problemas ahí yo. Porque, o sea, no me queda tiempo por el trabajo. Pues fíjese que, este, por lo, vi que mandaron un mensaje ahora, en, creo que en el chat, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. de, 
terminar, este, yo no, realmente, honestamente, cuando he, todas las veces que he trabajado estos, esta plataforma, es, sé que tengo que terminar tres unidades hasta el otro jueves. Entonces, por lo general, eh, vaya, además, hoy se puede, hoy cubrimos hasta la, hasta la mitad de esta, dos, y el lunes se ve la otra mitad y se comienza la, la tres. Eh, martes y miércoles se termina la 3 y ya el miércoles al final y el jueves se repasa y se ve para el, el examen entonces el tiempo lo tenemos pero no sé ahora y que decía que ahora tenían que terminar las dos pues yo creería que en, por cuestión de tal vez que ellos van dando notas o algo o sacándolas eh, pero no creo yo que, que al fin, si hasta el final termina todos sus eh, niveles, digamos, todos los ejercicios, yo no creería que tengan que tener problemas si lo terminen en el tiempo que esté estipulado. Pero sí, este, hay que tratar de, hay que tratar de cumplir con lo más, con lo más que se pueda, ¿verdad? Perfecto. Pero, pero sí, este, pensaría yo que no, porque no va a haber ningún problema. ¿verdad? Ahora, Ajá. yo les pregunté, les dije ahora, mire, yo trabajo con las tres unidades jueves. Ahí sí, yo sé que ahí tenemos que ir porque en las últimas dos terminamos la cuatro y la cinco. No, perfecto. Gracias. Ok. Good. Gosh. Yes, tell me. Uh, usted ahorita dice que vamos a pasar a la unidad tú, vean. Ahorita ¿sá? ya estamos aquí. Uh -huh. Pero este, no vamos a ver lo de que dice en numeral 14 del, del manual que estamos trabajando con lo que usted tiene en digital, uh -huh. eh, sobre donde dice say un goodbye. ¿Qué es eso? Um, antes de la, de la unidad, de la unidad 2. Uh -huh. mm, uh -huh. pues, Porque, pero... por ejemplo, de los números era number eh, del 11, vea, en el manual, porque como usted lo maneja digital, pero nosotros lo hemos imprimido, vea. Ok. Ajá. Entonces luego eh, sigue el 12 que dice listening in, luego el 13, y está el número 14, donde dice saying goodbye. Eh, y hay como un diálogo. Ese que está acá de ser. Sí, no, eso, Ajá, no, no, eso no Ajá. lo tengo en la plataforma. No, hasta aquí están los números, porque de hecho los ejercicios que les van a evaluar son hasta aquí. Ah, ok. Porque no hay más evaluación. Entonces, porque son los que usted va a hacer los ejercicios, estos que están ahí, eh, ¿cómo es que se llama? No lo hace usted en el manual. Ajá, no, ajá. En la plataforma. Y en la, en la plataforma no están. Ok. No problem, yes. Para eso okay, es como, sí le sirve para una, eh, digamos, como información extra. Eso sí. Ok. Good. Good. Thank you. Now let's go back. En esta clase vamos a, a descubrir el misterio de los bolsos de una mujer. ¿A qué es misterioso eso? Como una bolsita así tan chiquita caben como 300 objetos. Miles. <ríe> yes. Yeah, really. Como el de la exploradora. Ajá. Yeah. <ríe> sí. Oh, bueno. Tiene razón de ser la Dora. Ok. Good. No, no te olvides. Aquí solo aparecen como 7 objetos, pero este, este bolso que vamos a ver aquí que es el de mi abuelita. El de mi abuelita. Ya me voy a ver ustedes. Si video, me dicen por qué. Hi, everyone. Eh, In this class. No sé si es mi compu o hay un micrófono encendido. Para que no nos van a escuchar bien. You'll become familiar with common objects, which people have in their bags. We will listen to a quick audio and you should listen and repeat. An address book. A hairbrush. A wallet. Sunglasses. 
A CD player. A camera. Keys. A cell phone. A CD player. Okay. Okay, these are, for example, in a bag. Y esto puede estar en una bag, o puede ser también un backpack, que es una mochila, ¿verdad? Right? So you can see for men or for, or also for, for women, right? Not only for, not only for women. So we have the address book, camera, keys, hairbrush, wallet, sunglasses, a CD player, okay? ¿Se entiende ahora por qué dije yo que era de mi abuelita o de mi abuelito? ¿Quién me dice por qué? Porque son cosas antiguas, ya no se utilizan. No, no, no antiguas, no, eso yo las vi todavía, yo las usé. Sí, pero ahora ya la mayoría ya no utiliza, por ejemplo, esta cosa de que, que se usaba, no sé cómo se llama, que sí, se usaba con audífonos, ajá. No sé, alguna vez se las vi a los grandes cuando yo era pequeña, pero ya no las he vuelto a ver. Exacto, right, City Player. También este, mira este cell phone que está aquí, fue de los primeros. Que... Así fue mi primer celular. Aquí que se está en flip. Era como andar un, en aquel tiempo era como andar un iPhone. Era un Motorola bien bonito, a mí me encantaba. Nice. Eh. Por ejemplo, antes, uno, por ejemplo, cuando uno de paseo o algo, o andaba una cámara, ¿sí? eh, andaba una agenda, right, the address book, eh, in, the, in the city player. Pero ahora, the cell phone, the cell phone, the camera, the city player, the address book, and this is, right? Okay, but four in one. Okay, mucho, right? The others book, the camera, the cell phone, and the music, the CD player. Okay, you have it only. But what other object? What's in the room? Una consulta, teacher. Mm -hmm. En ese caso, address book es entonces una agenda. Sí, era como un librito de direcciones y para apuntes. Ah, no, no, no. Pero digamos si queremos decir agenda, ¿cómo yes, sería la palabra? Agenda, ¿no? ¿Qué es la agenda. Agenda. Ah, yes. va, va, excelente. Gracias. Thank yes. you. Eh, ya no tengo más. Okay. Maestro, a veces por ratito no, no se le escucha, se escucha un ruidito. Eso, ah. eso me estaba preguntando. No sé si alguien tiene el micrófono encendido. Chequen, por favor. Porque ahorita ya se calmó. Yes. Siempre revise sus micrófonos. Para... A camera. Buen sonido. Keys. Yes. Then, eh, we have this one where you say, What's your back? Eh, pero hay otras cosas, right? For example, we have. Uh, a toothbrush. Esto es para practicar vocabulario de, de objetos de uso diario y que podemos portar con nosotros, right? La toothbrush, cepillo de dientes. Eh, ¿Qué más puede andar en una bolsa o en una mochila? Eh, a comb, un peine, right? Vayan ayudándome, right? Uh, makeup. Eh, es para las señoritas o señoras. Makeup. El. ¿Cómo eh, se Maquillaje, right? Maquillaje, makeup. Umbrella, ajá. Uh -huh. An umbrella, una sombrilla, right? Eh, an extra. El cargador, los audífonos. Pair of shoes. Yo he visto estos zapatos. An extra pair of shoes. Sí, una, unas chancletas. Ah, yes. Sí, sandals. Sandals, ok. Eh, lotion, ajá. Perfume. Dulces, galletas. 
ahí está. La en mi caso, alcohol sí. en estos tiempos, sí. mascarilla. Ahí está la voz de la experiencia. Medicine, yes. Alcohol. Sí, un mini botiquín, definitivamente. Alcohol, ah, alcohol gel. Gel. Eh, what else? Probably napkins. The, uh, napkins, servilletas, right? Toilet paper. Papel higiénico. Que puede servir de servilleta también. Money, yes, money. Eh, adentro de la bolsa, del bolso o mochila siempre andamos, a veces, bueno, los hombres andamos wallet. Que es la billetera, right? Y las señoras o señoritas andan una purse. Que es como un bols una, ¿qué? una bolsa pequeñita, como billetera, maybe. Monedero, right? That's a purse. The other end, yes, documents, uh -huh, the ID. Yes, documents for the ID. Eh, brush, uh -huh. yes, for the hair too. Um, what else? Uh, the head, uh, earphones, me dijo, uh, earphones, a charger, okay, the phone charger. A sweater, yes, sweater. And, um, okay, ah, oh, yes, you told me too. Cookies, my galletitas, right? Candies. Um, what else, what else? Debit cards or credit cards, yes, correct, Eliana. Um, maybe a a sandwich, right? A sandwich sometimes is also necessary. What else? And another object that you can use some uh, extra. Extra light clothes. Snacks, yes. A veces se anda una ropita extra y que sea light, una camiseta, no sé, un par de calcetines, por si se mojan, no hay tormentón o algo, right? Can help. And something like that, okay? So these are some of the objects. Ah, uh, the watch. Toothpaste, yes. The keys, yeah. Aha, uh -huh, watch. Okay, wipes, aha. Uh -huh. Okay, wipes, those, those are for cleaning, like, como los pañolitos, ¿no? And basically, okay. Gorra, por si usamos, gosh. Yes, a cap. Los que utilizan gorra, yes, cap. Yes, that's true, I do. Um, what else do I have? Uh, uh, essential, a bottle, a bottle of water. Not the other hour, right? A bottle of water. Uh, maybe sunglasses. Maybe some glasses. Uh, what else? That's it, right? Okay, so that's vocabulary. You know, this, uh, you see, for example, all the objects and little things, body, oh yes, body cream. Yes, I want to say the body cream, wet, to uh, wet towels. Yes, that's correct, Odilia. Okay, wet towels. That's the data home, that's right. So you can use that one. Yes, 
So you see, you have, ah, well, uh, also earrings, majaritos, majaretes, right? Earrings and what else? Fruit, part of the manguito, right? You can have also the, the fruit, okay? So all these things are possibilities, right? The, of objects that we can carry. Okay, so this is the introduction. A cell phone. Okay, this is a cell phone. What's, and the question is, what's in your bag? Or what is in your backpack? Okay, what's the other word? Back. Back. Okay, this is for the mochila, right? Backpack. Now, uh, combining for the combination, we can combine the, the words these and that. Okay, these and these. Okay, you have these and these. objects which are near to us. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll become familiar with this and these. Before I start explaining this topic, we're going to listen to a quick audio which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and repeat. <laughs> Wow, what's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Okay. Oh, uh, what are these? They're earrings. Oh, they're interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. In order to understand the concept of this and these, I would like to start by explaining the following. Number one, you're going to use this, that's spelled out T-H-I-S, whenever you're talking about one object which is near you. Number two, you're going to use these, that's spelled out T-H-E-S, E, whenever you're talking about two or more objects which are near you. On a different class, I'll explain how to use that and those. So as you can see on the screen, there is a camera. And therefore, whenever we talk about one object, we're going to say, this is a camera. If we want to ask a question about a particular object which is near to us, we will ask in the following way. What's this? It's an earring. On the other hand, on the screen you also see two cameras. And therefore, whenever you refer to two or more objects which are near from you, you will say, these are cameras. Notice that the article a from the previous example disappears because we're no longer talking about one object but instead two or more. If we want to ask a question about two or more objects which are near to us, 
we will ask in the following way. What are these? Their earrings or their cameras, for example, right? For our practice exercise, I would like for you to look at the image and practice making questions and answers. For example, what are these? Their keys. What's this? It's a CD player. You're going to do the same with numbers 3, 4, 5, and 6. After you complete your work, you should share it in our discussion forums. Okay. Remember, you refer to two or more objects, but instead two or more. Okay, when we have, for example, what is this? Okay, we are referring to one object, okay? One object in singular and that we can touch, okay? It's close to us, okay? We say, what is this? And in plural, you can say, for example, what are these, okay? What are these? They are glasses. What are these? And singular, what is this? What is this? Okay. No questions? Preguntas? Estamos claros? Okay, remember what's this? ¿Qué es esto, right? What are these? ¿Qué son estos? And then you can use in singular and plural uh, different things. In with numbers three, four, five, and six. For example, the number two say, what are these? They are backpacks. What is this? It's a watch. What is this? It's a cell phone. What are these? They are sunglasses. After you complete your work, you should share it in our discussion forums. Okay, now let's see it here in the practice where we have, for example, the same questions, right? Uh, this is what the video was saying, okay? What are these? Number one, they are keys. In the number two, what is this? It's a CD player, it's a backpack, or it's a radio? It's a CD player. A CD player. Okay, good. And what are this? What are these? Or what is this? What are these? this? What are these? Okay. What's this? It's a watch. It's a CD player, it's a computer. It's a watch. It's a watch, right? Number four, it's a watch, you can see here. Number five is the cell phone. Okay, number five, Mambo number five. Okay, what's, what's the question here? You what is this? What is this? What is this, correct. Okay, what is this? And the last one, obviously, what are these? There? They are sunglasses. They are sunglasses. They're, okay, they're sunglasses. Okay, they're backpacks, they're cell phones. I know the number six are sunglasses.
There we go. Okay, good. Now, if I say, uh, what is this? What is this? It's a, it's it's a, a watch. watch. It's a watch, okay. What is this? It's a hand. It's a hand. What are these? What are these? They are fingers. They are fingers. They are fingers. fingers. They are fingers. Okay. And then you say, for example, what are these? Yeah. Uh huh. They are. They are hands. They are hands. hands. Okay. Plural. They are hands. What are these? They are hands. What is this? It's a hand. What are these? They are fingers. Okay, so this is singular, plural. Uh, when you see, for example, uh, the word here, what's this? We're talking about singular. What are these? We're talking about plural. What are these? They're backpacks. Then this is the affirmative sentence. Now let's see the interrogative sentence. The question. This is the question form. Así como el documento que les envié, right? Solo se invierte. Become for you. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form yes, no, and where questions would be. We'll start by listening to a quick audio program, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh, no. Where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they're not. They're gone. I bet they're on the table in the restaurant. <sighs> Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. See? No problem. And is this your wallet? Hmm, no, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Let's try to make sense of the chart that you see on the screen. In order to form yes or no questions, we're going to follow the next formula. Verb to be plus this, or in this case could be these, plus some kind of complement. So verb to be plus subject plus complement. In this case, we want to say that the subject is uh, this or these. So let's try to make some examples. As you can see on the screen, the example is this your wallet. We have the verb to be. In this case, happens to be is. And then we're going to use this. The complement in this case is your wallet. And then, of course, we put a question mark there. Um, the other example that you see on the screen, are these your keys? Uh, we have a verb to be, these, your keys. And of course, we put a question mark at the end. Let me give a couple of more examples. Is this... your cell phone question mark at the end are these your things in order to answer this type of questions you're typically going to answer with yes it is no it's not 
If it's plural, for example, yes, they are, no, they're not. Now that we understand yes or no questions with B, let's explore WH questions with B. We're going to follow a similar rule for WH questions. Let me go ahead and put that on the screen. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus complement. The rule is very simple and it's quite similar as making yes or no questions. The only difference is that now we are adding a WH word. So what are WH words? Let me explain. We use WH words to get information from others. For example, who, what, when, where, how, why, are some examples of WH words. Now let's put that rule into practice. If we look at um, the example on the chart, right, we can see the question towards the right hand side. It says, where is your wallet? So if we follow that rule, we're going to put a WH word plus the verb to be plus some kind of complement wallet. And of course, we put a question mark there. Where is your wallet? Where are my keys? How are you today? Why are you hungry? Where is the police station? To answer WH questions, you now need to give information. For example, for the question, where is your wallet? Notice that the answer is, it's in my pocket. And also, all those questions that you heard on the conversation a few minutes ago. Now, it's your turn to make as many examples as possible. Practice making yes or no questions and WH questions. You should answer those questions as well. The more you practice, the easier this topic will become for you. Okay. Okay, this is just how to structure the question. If we look at um, the example on the chart, right? We can see. Let's see a little bit of practice. Okay, aquí está una práctica. Yes. Ah, perdón que interrumpa, pero usted dijo de que si se le olvidaba pasar lista, que le recordáramos. Sí, yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Excelente. Sí, sí, lo que estaba haciendo para avanzar, ya pasé, pero ahorita le voy a decir para que veamos si hay alguien que no, eh, que no ha embarcado acá. Ok. Eso, no. eh, vamos a ver. Tenemos, porque entraron uno por último, ya tengo los 25, los 25. Ok, um, Adina Arerí, tengo Andrea Gabriela, Presente. Brian, Brian, a Brian no lo he visto hoy, no sé si, pero no lo vi, eh, Carlos Enrique Peraza, Carlos William, Presente, Claudia Lorena, Presente. Claudia Lorena también no, hoy no la vi, bueno ayer tampoco, eh, Damaris Esmeralda, el, elderly, Elmer, present, Elmer Ortiz, ¿verdad? Presente, sí. Tenemos a Esmeralda Guadalupe. Eunice. Present. Flor del Carmen. Present. Ok, tenemos a Gerson. Uh, present. Y Ellen, Ellen Elizabeth. 
No, verdad, si lo ando buscando, no. Liliana Beatriz. Yeah. Ah, vemos. Iris Janet. Presente, teacher. Irma Adriana. Adriana, ¿verdad que se lo puso Adriana en su? Presente. Pues sí, sí. Okay. Irvin Josael. Presente. Jaime Antonio Ortiz. Y Jaime Hernández. Aquí presente. Jaime okay. Hernández. Gracias. Jaime Ortiz. Jaime Ortiz, pero lo vi. Se habrá salido. Yo lo tengo 24 de día más. Ok. Jaime Ortiz. Then we have a Jaime Rembert. Uh, a mí no me mencionó. Y ahorita voy. Sí, sí. Um, Janet Fidelina. Janet. Sí. Ya se ahí está, ¿verdad? Ya ves, era la que seguía. Justo ahí me había detenido. Eh, Jennifer, Yasmín. No. Es Jessica Saraí. Presente. Okay, la voy a entrar. Eh, Jocelyn Elizabeth. Aquí. Yes. Jocelyn Elizabeth. Eh, Joel Ernesto. Here, here, here. Yes. María Cristina. Nos ha presentado María Cristina. Y tenemos Odilia Suleima, que está por acá, yo la vi. Yes, ahí está. Ok, en Reinita, right? Reina Xiomara. Present. Fue la primera en entrar y es la última en la lista, mire. Good. No problem. ¿Hay alguien que no mencioné? No hay problem. Ok. ¿No? ¿Todos los mencioné? Va. Ah, a mí no me ha mencionado. Henry. Henry, Henry, Henry. Pero sí, aquí está. ¿Por qué no lo mencioné? Henry Adrián Morán Hernández, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Ah, Ada también dice. Y está ¿Qué? poniendo en el chat. Ada. Ada Agar. Uh -huh. Burgos, ¿cómo no? Aquí está ya marcada. En Adina Arelí. Va. Perfecto. Ah, miren, los que tengo acá que no me aparecen es Brian. Es como que está ausente. Claudia Lorena. Eh, luego Ellen, Helen Elizabeth, eh, Jennifer Jasmine, eh, María Cristina, vale, ahí todos los demás tienen presente. Solo esos que mencioné por último son los que no aparecen. Ok. Good. Thank you. Thank you for the reminder. Gracias por el recordatorio también. Good. Maestro, perdón que interrumpa. No, diga, diga. Es que habían algunos en el grupo diciendo que no podían entrar. Sí, no, pero este, de repente empezaron a salir y yo les estoy dando entrada. Ah, ok. Pero luego chequeo acá también el WhatsApp y cualquier cosa, pues. Y sigo insistiendo y hablé allá también okay. porque, porque no. Porque les está pidiendo. No, en, las, en las clases anteriores no me. O sea, todos entran fácilmente sin ningún permiso. No sé por sí, qué. yo ayer tuve muchos problemas, no pude conectarme al final porque no tenía la computadora conmigo y del celular no me pude conectar. Puede hacer eso, pero no sé, pero la verdad no, ahí sí. Don't know, don't know. Ok, bueno, veamos entonces eh, este ejercicio y luego solo les voy a, va a quedar tiempo para explicarles un poquito el otro, ok, del otro tema, porque no lo vamos a terminar todos hasta el lunes, ok, veamos, here. This one will be. Is will be this? Number is this? Right? The number two. Are these? Are, are this? Okay. The number three. Where are? Where are? Where are my glasses? Where are my glasses? The number four. It's not, it's not. No, it's not. No, no it's not. Perfect. No, okay. It's not. It's not. Ahí estamos claros. Ok, good. Vaya, del otro solo voy a explicarles 
Y vamos a hacer una cosa para que eh, mañana, el viernes, ok, si ustedes trabajan, yo voy a estar disponible para poderles ayudar de 2 a 4 de la tarde. Okay, cualquier cosa en el chat, yo voy a estar ahí pendiente. Y luego de 8 a 9 también voy a estar pendiente, porque ahí para allá tengo otro, otro compromiso, pero eh, y antes también. Entonces, en esas horas, yo, si ustedes mandan algo de, antes, de, antes de eso, si yo lo veo más tarde, yo se los respondo para echarles la mano, ¿ok? Eh, solo vamos a ver este video. Es el de las prepositions. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use prepositions in order to describe the location of different objects. You'll learn the prepositions in, in front of. Ok, todas estas palabritas, in, in front of, behind, on, next, to, under, nos ayudan a, a ubicarnos, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si yo les pregunto a ustedes, ¿dónde tengo yo mi computadora? Cualquiera me puede decir, ¿dónde está mi computadora? In front of. In front of, ok. Eh, ¿Dónde está toda la información que ocupo yo para presentar la clase? ¿Cuál de esas palabras utilizaría? In the In computer. In, In the, the computer. computer. In the computer, correcto, ¿verdad? Eh, si yo les digo, por ejemplo, eh, si ustedes ven aquí, donde estoy señalando, ¿qué estoy señalando? Behind. 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 ¿Qué, hay, ¿Qué hay behind me? The window. The window. window. Ok. The window. Good. Eh, si les pregunto ahorita. ¿Dónde está mi celular? On your head. On your head. On, on your head. ¿Ah? Sobre. Pero fíjense que hay un on que se dice, por ejemplo, si yo lo pongo acá, decía on your hand. Es un on de, de, con contacto sobre una superficie. Ok, pero si ustedes ven un avión, no van a decir que el avión está on the city porque no está haciendo contacto con, con la superficie de la ciudad, sino que ahí se usa over. Aquí no está, pero se las digo para que vean la diferencia, que el on es sobre, pero cuando hay contacto con una superficie. ¿Ok? Por eso me puse el on acá, on the head. ¿Ok? Y si vemos acá, por ejemplo, si yo me pongo aquí de este lado, ¿dónde está la ventana? Next to. Next, Next to. to. Ah, ya me queda a la par, ¿verdad? Y aquí tengo un escritorio. ¿Dónde están mis piernas? Under. Sí. Under. Sí. Ajá, under the desk. ¿Verdad? Ahí están mis pies y mis piernas. Good. Entonces, para que tengan una idea de cómo nos ubica el tener, por ejemplo, incluso si yo les pregunto dónde... Para mí, mi computadora está in front of me. ¿Qué otra ubicación le podrían dar a mi computadora? On. On qué? On the desk. Perfect. Ahí estamos, ¿verdad? Entonces, my computer is on the desk in front of me. Ya ustedes tienen una idea de dónde está ubicado este aparato con relación a mi persona. ¿Ok? Entonces, las preposiciones nos ayudan a ubicarnos o de un objeto con relación a, a otro objeto o a una persona o a nosotros mismos. Ok, solo terminamos el video. Behind, on, next to, and under. Let's start by looking at the images on the screen. The images illustrate the preposition and its meaning. Let's start with the preposition in. We will start with the example. The question is, Where are the keys? The keys are in the box. The next one. Where are the keys? The keys are in front of the box. Where are the keys? We can see the keys are behind the box. The keys are behind the box. 
Where are the keys? The keys are on the box. The keys are on the box. Where are the keys? The keys are next to the box. The keys are next to the box. Where are the keys? The keys are under the box. Now is your turn to make some examples. Look at the images on the screen and practice making the questions and answers, just like we did a minute ago. Then I would like for you to share your work in our. Okay, so here you can see the books are in the book bag. The DVD player is next to, next to the TV. Okay, the map is under the bottle, right? Under the newspaper. The chair is behind the desk. The wallet is on the back and the cell phone is in front of the address book. Okay, yo sé que ya estamos cansados con sueño, así que se han portado muy bien. Les voy a dar un día extra de descanso. Okay, así que no, mañana se van a conectar. Tienen libre de, de parte mía. Es un día, un regalo. Ok. Qué galán. Los viernes será un regalo porque solo de lunes a jueves tenemos clase. Que me llame. <risa> ya me los desanimó. <risa> yes, exacto, right. Entonces nos conectamos. Ok, todos. buenas noches. Si necesitan ayuda, como les digo, mañana estamos ahí pendientes okay, para terminar esta unidad 2. Ok. Bye bye. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Good night.